Hey people, good evening from Dhaka. I am back with the second episode for the day and this is going to be for the request. I mean, actually this is a requested video for from a very uh, beloved brother of mine. His name is Shafi. Uh, brother Shafi, he is on, that's the name for him on YouTube. He is there, he has a channel. Doesn't uh, have, uh, I didn't think he started reviewing yet, but he is pretty much within our Good Smellers group. And he's also called Shoikot. So Shoikot Bhai, this is for you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do very, very, uh, you've been asking this for a very long time. So yes, let's do it. So before I start, all right okay this is gonna be i forgot to tell you the title it's gonna be a battle between a very popular fragrance at this moment i think in the designers game this is the most popular fragrance all over the world getting most number of bottles sold which is dior sauvage you have seen my comparison video for this with ultramol it went against ultramol right <sighs> a little bit dust right and this is gonna go against one Another summer freshie, supposedly, Akuva Amara. This is supposed to be a flanker from the house of Bulgari of the Akua line. So according to Shafi Bhai, he thinks uh, these two smell very, very close together. So I thought, interesting idea, all right? I mean, I never got the vibe because, yes, they are the same genre, but are they the same? So you're going to be, I have sprayed them already on the paper. They are drying down just like for five, ten minutes now. So, yes. We're going to be talking in depth detail and what you're going to do is we're going to do 14 categories and i'm going to give mark out of 10 for each fragrance which one i believe has more value or deserves more mark right so and we're going to add up out of 140 you're going to evaluate so whichever gets more point it's going to come up as the winner simple right but it may not it may be a surprise again <laughs> you never know right so keep watching so let me show you the uh, scent of the night after the shower after the night evening walk i came back i showered i felt like i want to wear something very casual something very uh spring like something i was watching the review of i think jen scent that do oh damn I, I should have taken down his name he's one of my favorite reviewers jen sense if you know his channel he gave um the green irish tweed a perfect 10 out of 10 according to him right along with Fahrenheit DHI and few other fragrances so I don't own the green Irish tweet but I own something that's in the designers game considered very close to it David of cool water I haven't worn this for a very long time very casual but uh, for a very windy night out very cold outside right and supposedly for a summer day but trust me this is giving me very good vibes with that cold weather all right if you don't own cool water, look into it. Very nice um, spring, a lot of lavender, a lot of uh, aquatic up top, right? Okay, so that is out of the way. Let's focus, right? So as you know, both of these fragrances are um, considered to be summer freshies, okay? Uh, Savage is uh, following the trademark of a very popular Bleu de Chanel from Chanel. And Aqua Amara actually has few fragrances in the line. Original Aqua, Aqua Marine. Amara, they have also the tonic series. So, and there's a new one, Atlantic. So I think there's all together six, six fragrances. So this one is one of the most unique ones in my opinion, right? So let's see, are they similar or which one is the winner? Yes, right. Okay, so let's go with the name. I thought this is an interesting concept. Which one has a better name? Conceptually, which one sounds more cool, okay? So yeah, I thought Savage is kind of kick-ass. It's like a savage, you know, like Johnny Depp you know, the theme and everything going on. So I feel like it's a pretty cool name, but there's a downside to it. It's been borrowed from, the, the concept of Savage has been borrowed from many fragrances. The name from Eau Sauvage, you already know. The bottle fade that looks like the previous line of Dior. And the name, also sorry, what I call the fade, you know, the, what I call the, sorry, the fade is from Fahrenheit and then the cylindrical shape is from the previous line. Right, so the name Savage is not really original, but still like the name, so I'm going to give this 9 out of 10. On the other hand, this beautiful baby, Aqua Mara, just look how gorgeous the bottle is, right? I really love this bottle presentation, right? This one reminds me of the name Amara from the movie The Ring. I know this sounds scary, but this fragrance itself is kind of scary at times because it has notes like incense and stuff, kind of mysterious and weird fragrance. And I really love the, the name Amara, one of the sexiest names. So for this... This is going to take this first battle. I'm going to give Amara a 10. 
just my personal opinion just for fun guys don't take it so seriously don't kill me i know many of you love this and worship this just for me the name amara works so 10 so first round one by amara second one presentation wise all right let's just look at the bottles very quickly boxes first this one as you've seen before the copper color one pretty cool huge and then there's a lot of attention to details huge box yeah and for the savage it's like a simplistic blue but looks very very well done and neat professionally done so as per the bottle goes i really love savage the way the bottle works beautiful blue and goes very light faded if you put it against the light you can see right so very very beautiful bottle on this and the magnet top along with the details inside cd and as well as bottom got cd very good attention to details even the written savage dior everything cd it works all right so on the for this one i just have to give this one mark less because of the lack of originality i'm gonna give this 9.5 for this one on the other hand many people may not agree but i really think this is one of the most unique bottles in the whole design like fragrance game the shape of it the water droplet if you put it like this i really wanted these bottles in my collection at least two of them which i do now it has the beautiful top this is the sprayer bulgari and the juice the color and the sticker really i haven't i don't think i have that many good looking more bottles that looks as cool as this maybe angel that's the prettier bottle than this i can say from the men's side so this one i'm gonna give 10 out of 10 all right gets a perfect score so second round amara wins third round price this one is a bit more pricey let's not go into details for what size and what just talking about details and as in retail this one retails a bit more this one you can find discounted this one is hard to find discounted in most countries now still this one aquamara i think the price already dropped down so for the prices i would say savage gets nine still very good value for money but this one gets a 10 because you can get it a 100 ml bottle with much affordable pricing all right so the price wise amara takes it so three down back to back amara is winning so yeah i told you this is gonna be interesting next one the smell the all important one Brother Shaf, uh, Shaikat, he told me, let's just see. This is Savage. This is Aquamara. Are they similar? That's the question I have to answer for him first, rather than doing the marking. Both are, both are really gorgeous. Like, if you think of summer, freshy, uniqueness. Yes, the Amara has a more unique note to it with that dirty, earthy, orange with mixed with incense and watery bitter notes. Savage on the other hand, it smells like nothing new or unique. It's very pleasant, very, very lovable, very beautiful smell. Very difficult to hate it. Only thing people hate this one for Savage for because it's too popular. That's the only reason. If people didn't talk about Savage or hype it that much, people would talk differently. And five years down the line, they want to talk differently. So for the smell, it's a very distinctive thing, right? It's total varies from people to people all right so even though the amara smells more original and the savage smells more um traditional pleasant nice but it has some sort of magic first time you spray it you really gonna like it so for savage the smell wise savage i'm gonna give nine amara i'm gonna give it eight because i don't like it every single time i wear it i don't wear it regularly for some days some moods yes so this round Savage takes it for the smell. So yeah, how similar are they? There is the similarity of softness. That's what for Brother Shafi I'm telling you. There's a softness in the both fragrances. They spray very nicely, very nice spray on both. And they are not very heavy fragrances, all right? Even though Savage tend to be much more stronger and it's much more potent, the Amara is same. If it's good weather condition, people can smell it, all right? Pretty potent juice. So similar wise, not maybe i i mean for me i pick they are kind of different they go different direction because savage don't have the note of incense this one does all right this one has an orange and this one has a pineapple so different kind of fruity this one a bit more mature this one has the more, more youthful vibe so yeah i like different things on different day but savage would win my everyday reach so smell wise savage wins all right uniqueness if you talk about the smell uniqueness this is not unique in my opinion. This is going to lose some mark in that unique zone. I am going to give this 7 out of 10. For the Amara, the uniqueness factor works in this. This is going to get 
10 out of 10 for me. I haven't smelled anything that's orange base, any other scent, dead air mess or something. They say this is, this is close to that. Sometimes it has some other vibes, but no, I haven't smelled anything like this so far. So I'm gonna give this to my nose, 10 out of 10 uniqueness. Amara wins. Longevity, this is where um, it's very obvious. 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Very good longevity on this still, but Savage cannot beat the performance, all right? Savage takes longevity. The war battle goes to Savage. The projection, all right? 10 out of 10, all right? Easily, 10 out of 10, no doubt, very strong performer. Very nicely projects, far away. People can smell you if there's air, any kind of weather, okay? This is, people can notice. This one, also not bad, but not very good. 7 out of 10. So, Savage wins. Projection, all right? Versatility, age-wise, I think Savage will take 10 out of 10 because any age can pull this off. This is built for all age, all occasion. Everything covers. One bottle covers everything. 10 out of 10. Age-wise, this one is a bit more mature. Not everybody's cup of tea. Many youngsters, they hate it. Some people love it, all right? So, in general, on average, what I noticed from my experience, I think this one's gonna get seven out of 10, all right? So, age-wise, Savage wins. The weather-wise, again, Savage will win because it can wear it all year long, 10, like 10 out of 10 easily because winter, summer, spring, all year round fragrance, just like Blood Chanel or Platinum Echo is that kind of performer and very good performer. Performance is freaking great. This one, on the other hand, the versatility in terms of the weather, like let's say it's a, not a very good summer, like very hot summer day. Maybe a bit breezy, a bit cooler, spring, autumn, fall. Yes, that will do well. So maybe that for the hottest summer is not good. So I'm gonna give this nine out of 10. So okay, this again, Savash takes it, 10 out of 10. Popularity, okay. Popularity factor is a bad one, okay. I mean, it's, you can see it in a different way, but I'd like to look at it in a positive way because many people say, would you like to be unique, you know? If everyone smells like this one, it's not a good scent. But for me, I'll take it as a positive aspect. Positivity all the way, all right? Popularity is not a bad thing. If a fragrance is popular, it means it's nice. It's doing good. Why would you dump on a good thing? So we'll look at the popularity factor, not in a negative aspect. So. For Savage, I'm gonna give this popularity 10 out of 10. Very popular fragrance, all right? And for Damara, this is gonna take some heat. Six out of 10, it's not very popular among in the community. I don't see many people mentioning it or many people giving positive thumbs up with this fragrance. So six out of 10, all right? So Savage wins popularity contest. Savage takes it home easily. Compliments wise, uh, easy. I wear this anywhere, I go anywhere. Savage is gonna give me compliments. I know many people are hating like, you dipshit, you said this was so like, uh, you know, like running the meal or like, you know, those compliment garner stuff. Yeah, this gets compliments. You wear it, you notice. Simple as that, buy it and see the effect. Compliments wise, this one, not very complimented. Those ladies or people around, sophisticated people around you who understand fragrance, who understand the notes of incense, like a bit of dirty smell of the earthiness, some of the bitter ocean, there's like seaweed, saltiness, aquatic, they will appreciate it only, not your mass population. Yes, this one would be very popular in the clubbing because you can stand out, you can be unique, but sometimes people like popular fragrances. They like to smell something, you know, like one million is going on sweet, sweetness. This one likely to be more popular than this. So compliment wise, this gets six out of 10. I don't get that many compliments with this, but I wear this for myself. Sunset time, perfect, ideal, all right? Next one is the sprayer. Let me show you the sprayer on both and I'll tell you why the sprayer, both of them gonna get 10 out of 10, all right? Amazing sprayer on both. This one you can smell, spray a little bit and you can spray a lot. Look at this. My room smells awesome. Now let's go with the different direction with the Mara. This sprayer is awesome. It's freaking awesome. One of the best sprayers in the game. See that? See that juice? It's like a big mist, so there's no contest. And imagine the Dior quality sprayer in a Bulgari fragrance. That's hats off bros, all right, or ladies. Very good sprayer, one of the best sprayers in the game. 
10 out of 10 for both. No one wins, no one loses. Okay. Next one is purpose. Where you can wear it. Like what occasion. Okay. So occasion wise, 10 out of 10. Wedding. You, you, you're gonna make love, you're gonna be dating, you're gonna go to some fisherman market, you're gonna go sailing, you're gonna go office, work, walk, driving, even if sleeping, easy. No need to talk about occasion, all purpose this serves. One bottle serves all purpose, 10 out of 10. This one, seven out of 10. Out of 10, seven marks, all right? Sometimes it may not be very good, like um, everyday scent. Like if you're going to gym, you don't wanna smell that weird. For gym, you wanna go something safer, so yeah few areas this one takes it a little bit and the last one is hall of famer which one's gonna be hall of famer so as you guys know you know where this is heading which way this train is heading out of this two which one which one do you think for me my pick would be Savage. why this is a very nice fragrance make no mistake when it's coming coming like comparing to this kind of a fragrance like head on this is gonna take some heat, but you're gonna see in the end the mark, total mark this one garners. But still, it doesn't have those special magic aspects that's gonna take it above everything, like Lamal, if you talk about cool water, okay? Fahrenheit, Angelman. This one, maybe if really something revolution happens. But this one is easy. The way it's being sold, the way it's being popular, and people are scared of fakes and whatnot, they're buying 200 mLs and everything. This one, just like Blue de Chanel, it's just easy, it's Dior. Just because of the company reputation, just because of the quality, presentation, everything. This is gonna be Hall of Famer, all right? So this is 10 out of 10, likelihood, 10 out of 10, six out of 10, maybe in the future, all right? So you add up all the marks, how much you're gonna get out of 140? For Savage, my mark is 133.5, adding up everything. Is it enough to beat Akuamara? This one? How much does it get this one gets one two four one twenty four out of 140 so almost like um 10 it's like 9 like 8.5 difference between this so yeah quite few marks differences on this this one will take it home this one's the winner once again it's not that difficult it wasn't that close but then yes respect to Akamara for being a quality fragrance for a unique fragrance and daring fragrance if you guys are daring if you like to wear something different you want to have a different signature scent you want to go to a place don't want to smell like everyone else go with this all right so thank you very much for watching guys hope you catch the next episode nice talking to you guys good night and i'll talk to you soon bye bye